Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Resilient with your host, me, Wintertooth100. And in today's episode, we are picking up from where the live stream left off. Uh, I thought we would do a quick look around and talk about what we've done. I know not everyone's going to be watching those live streams, so let's attempt to get a bird's eye view real quick. And we'll go over kind of what we did in the live stream. Uh, mostly I'm framing out this castle work and trying to get an idea for where all these walls are going to be, see how much space we have, and see if we need to redo anything. So, if we're looking at this right here, I'm just going to do a quick rehash for anybody who didn't watch the live stream. Uh, you probably skip ahead about a minute if you don't want to hear the rehash of it. So right here is the entrance of where the castle will be. All of these cobblestone lines depict where walls will be built. And so this first little section here, all the way to this line this will be a gatehouse there are four gatehouses on your way into the inner keep the inner castle area where the castle actually is it will be standing gatehouses are pretty much essentially ways that castles protected themselves if you were trying to invade this castle and you found yourself inside one of these gatehouses you're probably dead <laughs> and there's four of them on the way so there's one right here and then we'll be working our way uphill it's an uphill battle and on both sides, archers will be firing down arrows on, on you. And you have to loop back around. And this wall right here depicts another gatehouse. Once we get through this gatehouse, then right here we have another gatehouse. And finally we get around and we'll find the entrance to the inner wall right there, which is the fourth gatehouse. So right here we are depicting the walls. We have the outer wall, which I have marked all the way around. We have the beginnings of the inner wall this kind of like funneling system and this line right here actually depicts the first wall for the inner wall so this is going to I have a little map pulled up for me so I can see uh, but we have this wall coming up and it goes across and it actually connects to the castle and so the castle is a part of the back side of the inner wall and that'll wrap around and it's basically makes kind of like a straight line all the way back up and then we have a diagonal here in the front where this all connects up so let's get down there and see if we can't throw the rest of this shape together real quick so there's still even more terraforming we're going to need to do you can see on the sides here like we go off into the water you can also see on the other side we go down there and into the water and even on the back side it dips down a bit um, but let's talk about what I've added here uh, mostly the inner wall uh, so we had the main four things so I gave this these gatehouses a little more symmetry they're evenly spaced blocks give it a little bit more shape so I could actually see uh, we backed up this wall and brought it up and I brought it across the top there but I didn't like the shape and I ended up cutting it back out and then reframing it and I got to this line here before I decided, you know what, I don't know how far, how close that wall I want to try to get. I can see on my picture that I have of this castle how close it looks like it is, but uh, we're converting this to Minecraft. <laughs> uh, I had to redo this section to a different angle, uh, so it lined up better with this. And because every time I tried to make this work, it just kept turning out to look more like, uh, like there was just way too much space between these things. And so I wanted to reduce that, that space. So I changed the angle, now they look like they're closer. And so now we have the inner wall, inner wall framed. And the back section of the wall, before this, this curve happens, this straight line and part of this diagonal are actually a piece of the castle. The castle will come out this way and then wrap around and then connect back over there. But it's neat to know that Part of this castle wall is the castle, which I think is really neat. It's, of course, it's a part of the inner wall, so it's not like it's super exposed. Uh, now we need to figure out how we're going to do these walls in particular. There's, uh, well, the, the, the thing shows, the picture I'm seeing shows that for the most part, these walls are maybe a couple blocks off the ground. Um, on the insides. The outsides like like this would be more accurate in height wise. Like the wall's actually like a wall, you can't get over it. 
but on the inside of these walls, like over here, when you're past the gatehouses, of course, because the gatehouses are like a trap that's meant to kill you. So if you're able to get past those, like this is meant to be, you know, for you. Like these walls here are like maybe that tall and they got a little platform on them that you can walk on and you, you know they seem real nice but the thing is that they're close to the level of the ground you, they're supposed to feel like you can get up here pretty easily but on the other side like they're a legitimate wall which means we have to do uh, one of two things um, because of the way that this works, and this is all supposed to be a slanted hill, we'll probably terraform this section out. Um, and then use the dirt we get from here to terraform this in here up. Uh, because that's, you know, that's the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be, uh, for us, it's ocean level. For him, he's, like, he's just surrounded by a bunch of flat land in his little 3D model. But for us, it's supposed to, um, you know, we're going to take it from ocean level, and you'll slowly be working your way up this this hill until you reach around this point where the drawbridge is. Cross the drawbridge, you go through, and then this is all starting to go uphill. Like in the live stream I said maybe once every 20 blocks, 30 blocks, we'll go up one level. Uh, so by the time you get wrapped around all the way up to there, we should be three, maybe four blocks higher than uh, than where we would be standing in this gatehouse in the beginning this land over here would be about three or four blocks taller and then you can see how close these are like that's a big difference three to four blocks down three to four blocks up and that elevation it's you know that's that's meant for like real life soldiers you know getting fatigued tired going through all these kill pits it's meant to demoralize you and to kill you <laughs> uh, right here however this is where the last gatehouse is so this is where we'll be coming through to get into the castle and then we can do all the castle stuff on the inside. Right now I kind of want to just focus on the walls. I think that's going to be the most tedious part of it is getting these walls in. You can see I'm trying something new here. Look at all of these diagonals. There's so many diagonals in this project. That's something I wanted to challenge myself with. I mentioned this in the live stream. The things you have to do to help improve your building style to get better at building. One of those things is to do things that you aren't exactly comfortable with so you can grow as a builder. And for me, there's this amazing world. I forget its name. There's an amazing Minecraft world. It looks fantastic. But when you get up and close to it, you realize like almost nothing in that world is built on a straight line. Nothing in that world. They're all built on angles. And that world looks amazing. And that's kind of inspired me to want to do that myself. I want to learn how to do that kind of build style, so that's a part of why we're building this castle. Uh, it has a lot of angles that uh, wouldn't normally, this castle wouldn't look good if we didn't do these angles. So it's something I have to do to make this look good, and it's something I, I want to practice. So let me do a mock-up of one of these walls, and we can get an idea of what it is we're trying to do. Okay, we are in a test world because I was afraid there might be blocks that... I wasn't thinking of for this design and I was right. Let's take a look at kind of the idea that I came up with. This is... it's okay. Uh, it, it's nothing we haven't seen before. We got the matriculation so you can stand up there no matter how close you get. I tested this with the um, camera bear. He can still shoot me from up there even if I'm pressed up as close to this wall as I can get, I can still be shot, which is the whole purpose of those, so they're totally functional, which is really awesome. Uh, but I was afraid that this was too boring, so I was playing around with the blocks, and oh boy, there's a block that I really like, but it's going to be really hard to get, especially when you consider I haven't seen any in the world yet. And that is the coral block. This is the brain coral in, in particular. I really like that block. I think it looks really cool. Like, there's a. Sometimes when I look at it, it kind of looks spongy or veiny to me and kind of strange. But other times, it just seems like it's like it's just a texture. It's a weird texture for uh, some kind of stonework in there, like a weird cobblestone. 
It, it almost looks really cobblestone-y to me, and I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and all it did was I swapped out the cobblestone for this, what kind of looks like cobblestone. The lighting of it, you see it's got light parts on this what looks like veins to me, and then the, it's got divots that are all shadowed in, which makes it look like it has that divot look to it. But another way from that I've been looking at it is, uh, if you look, here, let's just clear that out. If you look at this white line, I'm seeing that as like, um, was it mortar that holds stones together? That's what that looks like to me. And then these just look kind of like river rocks, like dark cobblestone river rocks that are being held together. It's, it's just a different way to look at it. and. It, it, at least for me, if I look at it like that, it looks a lot like cobblestone, like real cobblestone. Uh, I really like it. But the most important thing for this design is to make sure it is tileable. We have a couple of different shapes. We have them one block apart like this. We have diagonals, like true diagonals. We have where they're two blocks spaced, we have where they're three blocks spaced, we have four blocks of space in between them, and we have up to five blocks of space in between them. That's only four. And so we can count that one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on. We got our threes, of course the twos, the zeros, I'll call those, and the ones. So it's really important to come up with a design that is tileable in such a way that we can plug it in and be able to make it fit this shape. And I think I've found it. I made a mistake on the, I believe it's the twos. Yes, on the twos, I just cut out the center and squished them in. But as I got further down into the fours, that's when I decided, you know what, let's just let's follow the shape. Everything that's in line with the four will be flat with the four like normal. When we go to the next step, they'll just that's when they'll we'll have the indent. And once I did that, it was a lot easier to put together. And I know we can do that with the twos. And I just didn't because I, I didn't think of that until I got there. But minus the twos, the twosies right there, uh, if you use your imagination, you can kind of gloss over that, but this would be kind of what it's like walking through the uh, next to the walls, especially in the in the bit with uh, with all the uh, gatehouses, those murder holes. Uh, if we just knock these out real quick, then here we go. It's like we're walking in. We can actually be shot from either side, and you know the path leads us up this way. And there's no safety that I can get shot from there. Okay, so I'm gonna go hide over here. Well, I can still get shot. I can still get shot. And then, of course, the other side of the wall. Like, even if I could find perfect shelter over here, those guys got a really good view of me. So there's really no, there's no safe spot from archers, which is kind of the point. I think it looks really nice. And then, of course, if we wanted to, we're just gonna separate this. We could come up really high. As long as we maintain the same kind of uh, shape, this three block gap. Here, we'll grab some brain. Such a weird name for us. This is the pink coral. This is what I'll have to be keeping an eye out for specifically. I believe when 113.1 comes out, uh, we'll be able to bone mill these and be able to actually collect these which will be really nice because as it stands right now at the moment uh, that's not an option and uh, well we're gonna need a lot of this and I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to find all of it so then we have this if we wanted to go really tall with it and it's got it's kind of funny looking when you make it go really tall isn't it um, so something that is totally free for us to do once we have these. I mean, 
There's nothing wrong with that. That doesn't look terrible. Like, it could be better, but it doesn't look terrible. But something we could do, if we really wanted, we could just continue these patterns. Uh, they're just spaced apart enough that you can't really, you can't get spawns on them. And these two are close enough to this light that they're not going to get spawns. But if we do that, like we can, we can play with that shape. The only thing I don't like about that is we're going to have another line immediately next to it. And so if we go with that particular thing, we're going to end up with this look. This shape if you will and uh, we could totally rock that totally could but uh, I like that we have the creative freedom that we could pretty much add whatever we'd like there yeah see it doesn't look that doesn't look too bad and these are simple enough to build I mean you see me building these really quickly I mean yes this is creative mode my test world but still like I could probably build up a good section of this wall in an hour or two, like a pretty hefty chunk if I'm honest about it. There we go, those are the weird ones. And these are cobblestone, boom, just like that. Two sections of the wall done. And again, we can we can get rid of these middle bits. If we go, decide to go up taller, we could even consider something along the lines of cutting out one of these ribbons. Oops. And just filling it in. And then having... Having a... Like a bigger pattern in here. Like maybe we grab some of this cobblestone. And we decide to do some kind of like... Arcs in it. Totally doable. I don't think this is going to be something we end up doing. But for anybody else interested. Like there's so much... So much freedom with these. That we can basically get away with... Uh, doing just about any design Yeah, I don't like those as much but Yeah, it's basically a blank canvas and we can do just about anything with it. I think I'm gonna stick with having the spaces going all the way through for the threes uh, But yeah, even that even these These arcs coming up are you know, those are a possibility as well. Or, you know, we just keep it simple. And we just keep the top ones, knock out these other ones. And then we just have some really tall walls. Which, if I'm being honest, looking at the image on my screen over here to my left. Sorry, you guys can't see it. That's all the Honor Guard Castle is. In fact, it's 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 more than that. No, it's, cobblestone there we go if I'm being honest the walls to that place are that's tall enough they are this and nothing more the only difference between these guys is they'll have the poke out bits where the towers go and that's the only like real detail but in real cobblestone like I think that looks nice, like real cop, like real castle look. That actually looks nice. It's just in Minecraft, not so much. And uh, they would also have the matriculations coming out. And again, that's the castle or the tower bit. Uh, do the same thing here with the stairs and the slabs. Boom. That's it. This, <laughs> if I were to build this exactly as I see it, this is what that castle would look like. So. I'm going to take a little creative freedom with this and we are going to give it texture. We're going to give it depth, we're going to give it texture, and we're going to try to maintain this functionality. Like I can still get shot by somebody right there. And if I'm standing over here, I can still get shot by that guy. So uh, we're going to maintain as much of the functionality as possible, but we are not going to limit ourselves to replicating it exactly perfect. Again, because if I did that, this would be what our castle looks like, and in Minecraft, pure cobblestone, that's kind of ugly. So, yeah, we're going to work on this, and I don't know how long this episode is, 
but I don't have a ton of time today. I did the live stream earlier and realized that I was supposed to do an episode today. So, so I just wanted to kind of design these walls with you guys and talk about them a little bit. And I know I've just been ranting and ranting, so I won't rant at you anymore. Uh, please go check out Joe and Shai's channels. They are on the server as well and they're doing some really cool things. Joe's connecting everybody with his monorail system. And Shai has just found a new home in a, uh, a roofed forest. So that should be really interesting. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked, subscribe if you haven't, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next one.